our team and the director team to uh, permeate the system through the top leadership team. And so we talked about a couple of ways to do that. One would be to invite along with inequity walks. Also to use the current structures we have and develop um, some sort of a tool, a filter, whatever you, you call it or whatever that looks like that helps us have, no matter where we're at, whether that's at the superintendent's table or whether that's individual committees that we happen to sit on um, through the leadership team, where we are using our culturally responsive themes to use that as a filter for communication, use it as a filter for making decisions, and use it as a filter um, for conversations that we have. Yeah, we had principals, and so we started by kind of dividing it up between our elementary and secondary principals. Um, ultimately, we landed on the idea of um, having conversations within DDI or a PLC that it, it's really focused and localized on um, how that that team or that department is operationalizing the CRE themes within themselves, um, and then be able to go and cross collaborate with another school on that. So that essentially you might have like a kindergarten team at one school go to another school and say, hey, we've got a third grade team that really does well with CRE in their PLC DDI. And we want, you, we want some observations to happen. And maybe that happens at the principal level first, where the principal would go and observe the other schools, PLC or DDI, and then take back what they've learned, or vice versa. And then eventually maybe get to a point where you would have teachers that would cross-pollinate what's happening. Um, so that's kind of the idea. And then um, we came up with the, the need would be a feedback loop. And so we thought that maybe we could um, write their, the partnership or the strategy into the UIP or school reciprocal agreement. Um, and then also having just the schools maybe taking ownerships by saying, how will we know that this is working and having them set their own goals. So a couple of different ways that they could get there. Okay. Yeah. Not talking to or just holding? No, you can yeah. So we chose the Mark's idea with the multidisciplinary equity team. And we start out with the key level of district. We, with the key levers, or key level district, with the key levers, we felt there had to be owners and then consultants in the process. And so essentially, we put the Division of Equity and Learning, specifically the support team, um, the ICs, the LCDs, our primary and secondary, depending on what we're working on. We also put consultants, which are our other divisions, because we need, need to make them aware as well of some of the pieces that impact the building at the building level. Key strategies, we talked about monthly gathering to establish and review um, key performance indicators, um, identify the bright spots and spread the word, have people come in and target the heat map. One of the things that was vitally important as we talked about was how do we get it down to the school level? And we talked about, we felt the, the um, framework needed three other pieces, a communication plan, an implementation plan, and a monitoring plan, because without these three things, this is a pretty poster. Uh, and then our needs is that we're intentional with everything we do that is integrated. So like when we're doing balanced literacy, our ICs need to be very intentional about layering the six themes of equity over that. We also talked about giving our principals time because we've got so many things going on right now. What's most important? And then it has to be embedded, it has to be consistent. And again, we also had, we have to have a feedback loop because we constantly need to refine the entire process. So that's where we have anyone else? Who was your scribe? Oh, nice oh. job. Yeah. 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 Yeah.